In this video lesson, we will solve quadratic inequalities graphically. There are similar video lessons about solving linear equations and linear inequalities graphically, but this time we're going to use the same technique for quadratic functions. So let's say you have this quadratic inequality. x squared minus 5x plus 6 is less than or equal to 0. We graph y equals x squared minus 5x plus 6, the left-hand side of this inequality. And here's the function. And the inequality tells us, since the x-axis is 0, as, I, as I've labeled, that the good points are where the parabola swoops below the x-axis, starting here and ending here. And then it curves back up and is above the x-axis. So the solution set has to be all points between x equals 2 and x equals 3. So 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3 is the solution set. We can also write this in interval notation. 2 comma 3 with brackets because we are including 2 and 3. I'm going to clean up a tiny bit, and we're also going to quickly draw this on the number line, which in this case we don't really need. We kind of did it on the x-axis, but it's a good idea anyway. Here's 2 and 3, and everything in between, including the edges. So now we're going to try a different example. Let's take the example, x squared minus 4x plus 3 is greater than 0. And again, we're assuming that we're just given the graph. So here it is. Here's the graph of x squared minus 4x plus 3. It corresponds to the left-hand side of the inequality again. We want greater than 0. So these points so far have all worked. I'm having it's strictly greater than 0, so we, do, we don't want to include where it intersects the x-axis, we just want strictly above. Here it's below, and that's just all bad, we don't count those. And then we're above again. So what we have is just all points before x equals 1, and then after that, all points that are greater than x equals 3. So we have two intervals. So we'll draw this one on the number line. There's one and there's three. And this is an open interval, so we put an open circle. Both of these are actually open. We do not want to include one and three because we have strictly greater than zero. And here it is. This is how it is drawn on the number line. Written down, we could have 1, x less than 1, or x greater than 3, because either one works. In a written in interval notation, this would be negative infinity, comma 1, with parentheses, or 3, comma infinity, parentheses. But in interval notation, we use, instead of the word or, the union symbol which looks like a capital U. So now we're going to move on to our third and last example. Hopefully these are making sense so far. So in this example, we are going to solve the inequality negative x squared plus 2x minus 2 is less than 0, less than or equal to 0. So here's the graph of this inequality. And as before, we're just going to take a look. We want less than or equal to 0. And so far, all of these points are good. And it curves down, but it's continuing being just less than 0. So as you can see, no matter what x we pick, it's always going to be less than 0. So any x works. 
So how would we write this down? If x can be anything, what is the interval notation for this? Well, it's quite simple. It's just negative infinity comma infinity. It includes all numbers. And if we wanted to draw it on the number line, we just mark the whole number line. So that's that. It's the solution to this inequality. Thank you for listening to this video lecture. I hope it helped.